If you're watching this right now, let me tell you this. It's not by accident. You have been drawn here for a reason, one far greater than you may yet understand. The universe works in ways that most of us can't explain. And when you begin to feel that pull, that undeniable tug towards something bigger, you can be sure that it's not random. What if I told you that your presence here is a sign that you've been called for a mission? One that only a select few ever get the chance to recognize. It's a divine mission, and it's your destiny. This moment in your life is not some cosmic coincidence. In metaphysics, there's a belief that every event, every encounter, happens for a reason beyond what the physical eye can see. Think about the concept of synchronicity, moments that feel like a higher force is guiding you, pushing you towards something greater. This is exactly what philosopher Immanuel Kant referred to in his discussions on the convergence between human will and the cosmic plan, a preordained purpose waiting for you to unlock it. You are not here by chance. You were meant to hear this. As Jalal ad-Din al-Rumi once said, be like a tree and let the dead leaves drop. The wisdom in these words is clear. There comes a time in each of our lives when we must let go of the things that no longer serve us. Whether it's fear, doubt, or the past versions of ourselves, we must shed what's holding us back to make room for the incredible potential that lies within. What you may not realize yet is that you carry a divine spark, a hidden force, ready to awaken. The fact that you're watching this right now is proof that your time has come to step into this new phase of your existence. The feeling of being different. Have you ever felt different, like you don't quite belong in the world around you? Maybe it's a sense that you're meant for more, but you can't quite put your finger on what that more is. This feeling isn't something to brush aside. It's a sign. According to the study of epistemology, the pursuit of true knowledge, there is an inner knowing that some of us carry, a silent guide leading us toward our truth, even before we fully understand it. If you've ever had the sense that your life has a higher purpose, that feeling is not accidental. It's the universe whispering to you, preparing you for what's ahead. In the Bible, Jeremiah 29 11 states, for I know the plans I have for you. This passage speaks to the divine blueprint that exists for each of us. You may not have all the answers right now, but know this, you were not created by chance and your life is not a random string of events. The universe has a purpose for you, and every experience you've had up to this point, every triumph, every struggle, has been part of the preparation. You are chosen, and this sense of being different is the first sign of your awakening. Intuition and the role of the universe. Think about the times you've trusted your intuition, those moments when you felt something so strongly it was impossible to ignore. Intuition isn't just a feeling, it's a form of knowledge that goes beyond logic, an insight into the deeper workings of the universe. Carl Jung referred to intuition as a manifestation of the collective unconscious, an ancient shared wisdom that connects all of humanity. For the chosen ones, this intuition is not a coincidence. It's the universe calling you, giving you glimpses of your higher purpose. In Sufism, intuition is seen as a whisper from the divine, a sacred connection between you and the truth of your existence. The Sufis believe that intuition is not something to be questioned or doubted, but rather embraced as a spiritual tool. It is through this intuitive knowing that you are guided on your divine mission. The universe speaks to you, and through your intuition, it reveals the next steps on your path. If you've been feeling these nudges, take them seriously. You are being shown the way. Sense of purpose and resilience. 
Once you begin to awaken to your higher purpose, life starts to change. You may feel a new sense of urgency or clarity about what you're meant to do. But this clarity doesn't always come without challenges. The journey toward fulfilling your divine mission is not always easy, but it's through these challenges that you become who you're meant to be. Jean-Paul Sartre, the existentialist philosopher, believed that existence precedes essence, meaning that it's through your actions that you define your life. Your sense of purpose is not something given to you. It's something you create through your choices and your resilience. In Buddhism, suffering, or dukkha, is seen as an inevitable part of life. But it's not just something to be endured, it's a tool for transformation. Each hardship you face is an opportunity to grow stronger, to evolve, and to step more fully into your potential. This is what makes the Chosen Ones different. While others may see obstacles as setbacks, you are called to see them as stepping stones, preparing you for the greatness ahead. Your struggles are not meaningless. They are part of your divine preparation. The challenges as preparation. Challenges, obstacles and hardships, they may seem like roadblocks, but in reality, they are divine preparations. Stoic philosophy, particularly the teachings of Epictetus, reminds us that our perception of challenges determines whether they break us or make us stronger. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is the mindset of the Chosen Ones. Every challenge is a test, not of your strength, but of your resilience and adaptability. You are being prepared for a mission, one that requires you to be your strongest, most authentic self. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna speaks to Arjuna about the challenges he must face, not as punishments, but as opportunities for growth. The obstacles in your path are not there to defeat you, but to make you stronger. This ancient wisdom still applies today. Your challenges are not random. They are specifically designed to prepare you for your mission. Every hardship you face is a lesson and each lesson is equipping you with the tools you need to fulfill your purpose. Spiritual Warfare As you move further along this journey, you will encounter forces that try to pull you off your path. This is not merely a physical battle, it is a spiritual one. The philosopher Descartes once argued that the mind and body are separate, yet connected, and it is within this duality that spiritual warfare takes place. The mind, where your spiritual awareness resides, must learn to rise above the limitations and challenges of the physical world. In Christian theology, Ephesians 6.12 tells us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world. This is the essence of spiritual warfare the unseen battle that every chosen one must face. It's a battle for your mind, your soul, and your purpose. The forces that challenge you are not there to destroy you, but to test your resolve and push you closer to the truth. Spiritual leadership. As a chosen one, whether you realize it or not, you possess innate leadership qualities. But this form of leadership is not about titles or authority. It's about embodying wisdom and guiding others through your actions and presence. Plato's concept of the philosopher king explains that those who are fit to lead are the ones who seek knowledge and truth, not power. You are on this journey not just for yourself, but to inspire and uplift others by living in alignment with higher truths. In the Tao Te Ching, Laozi teaches that a leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, they will say, we did it ourselves. This kind of leadership doesn't come from force or domination, but from quietly living with integrity, guiding by example rather than command. 
the chosen ones often find themselves stepping into roles of influence naturally without seeking it. People are drawn to their authenticity, wisdom and strength. They lead not by asserting authority, but by embodying the principles of truth, resilience and compassion. Their leadership is spiritual at its core. The path of spiritual leadership is one of humility and service. You may not feel like a leader, but the very fact that you are waking up to your higher calling means that others will look to you for guidance, whether they express it directly or not. The key to this leadership lies in staying true to your mission, leading not for recognition, but out of a desire to elevate others. Just as a philosopher king serves the greater good, so do the chosen ones who lead by embodying their divine purpose. Feeling misunderstood. One of the most common experiences of those on a spiritual path is feeling misunderstood. When you are called to a higher purpose, the world around you may not always see it, and this can feel isolating. But understand that this isolation is a part of the journey. Søren Kierkegaard, the father of existentialism, called those on such a path knights of faith. These individuals walk a solitary journey, pursuing meaning and truth in a world that often values superficiality and materialism. If you've ever felt that people around you don't understand your calling, know that this is a sign you are on the right path. In Islamic tradition, the Prophet Muhammad once said that Islam began as something strange and will revert to being strange, so blessed are the strangers. This hadith reminds us that those who walk the path of truth will often be misunderstood. But this is not a burden, it's a blessing. To be a chosen one is to navigate a world that is often out of alignment with higher spiritual principles and that means facing resistance from those who do not share your vision. This feeling of being different, of not fitting into the world as it is, is part of your preparation. It pushes you to seek deeper meaning and connection. You are not meant to follow the crowd. You are meant to pave a new path, even if that means walking it alone for a time. Remember, those who are misunderstood are often the ones who change the world. Your journey may feel solitary now, but it's leading you to connect with others who are also awakening to their divine mission. Emotional sensitivity and empathy. As a chosen one, you may have noticed that you experience emotions more intensely than others. This emotional sensitivity is not a weakness, it's a gift. In spiritual traditions, emotional empathy is considered one of the most powerful tools for understanding and connecting with others. In Buddhism, compassion is at the heart of spiritual life, and it is through empathy that we can truly serve others and alleviate suffering. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna teaches Arjuna that empathy is what connects all of humanity. It is the ability to feel what others feel, to understand their joys and their sorrows, and to act with love and compassion. For the chosen ones, this heightened emotional sensitivity allows you to see the world not just as it is, but as it could be. You feel the weight of the world's pain, but you also sense the potential for healing and transformation. This sensitivity is part of your divine mission because it enables you to respond to the needs of others with genuine compassion. However, this gift comes with challenges. Being highly empathetic can make you more vulnerable to the emotions and energies of others, sometimes leaving you overwhelmed. But remember, your emotional depth is a tool for your growth and the growth of those around you. The key is learning how to balance this sensitivity with resilience, allowing yourself to feel deeply while maintaining boundaries that protect your energy. Emotional sensitivity, when managed wisely, becomes a powerful force for healing and connection. Shadow work, 
and inner darkness. No journey towards spiritual awakening is complete without facing the shadows within. The darker parts of ourselves, our fears, doubts, and unhealed wounds, are often the very things that block us from stepping fully into our divine mission. But the chosen ones are called to do something different, to face these shadows head on, integrate them, and transform them into sources of strength. This process, known as shadow work, is essential for spiritual growth. Roberto Asagioli, the founder of Psychosynthesis, argued that true spiritual maturity comes from integrating all parts of ourselves, including the shadow. This integration is what leads to a balanced and harmonious self. When you acknowledge your fears, your flaws, and your inner darkness, you take the first step towards healing them. The shadow, when faced and understood, no longer controls you. Instead, it becomes a source of wisdom and power. This is echoed in the hermetic principle of correspondence. As above, so below. The work you do internally reflects the changes you wish to see externally. When you heal and integrate your shadow, you become a clearer channel for divine energy to flow through. Facing your inner darkness is not something to be feared. It's a vital part of your journey. By confronting these aspects of yourself, you transform both your inner and outer worlds, creating space for your higher purpose to manifest. Balancing Masculine and Feminine Energies The balance of masculine and feminine energies is not about gender. It's about harmonizing two complementary forces within yourself. In Taoism, this is known as the balance of yin and yang. Feminine energy represents intuition, receptivity, and nurturing, while masculine energy symbolizes action, logic, and assertiveness. For the Chosen Ones, mastering this balance is essential for fulfilling your divine mission. Too much of one energy leads to imbalance and disconnection from your true purpose. Nikola Tesla once said, If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. This statement applies not just to the external universe, but to the internal as well. The secret to spiritual evolution lies in balancing the internal energies that drive us. When masculine and feminine energies work in harmony, we are able to take inspired action while staying deeply connected to our intuition. This balance empowers us to move forward with clarity and purpose. Learning to recognize when to lean into your masculine energy, taking decisive action, setting boundaries, and when to embrace your feminine energy, listening to your intuition, nurturing yourself and others, is key to navigating life's challenges. This equilibrium is what allows you to fulfill your mission without burning out or losing your way. Awakening signs and synchronicities. As you continue on your journey, you may start noticing patterns, coincidences and synchronicities that seem too perfect to be random. These are signs from the universe, affirmations that you are on the right path. New Age spirituality describes synchronicities as the manifestation of the law of attraction, a way for the universe to communicate with you, letting you know that everything is aligning for your higher purpose. Neville Goddard, a well-known teacher of manifestation, spoke about assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. When you are in alignment with your divine mission, the universe responds to your energy and synchronicities become more frequent. These moments are not random. They are a reflection of the resonance between your inner state and the external world. As quantum mechanics explores concepts like quantum entanglement, it becomes clear that everything is connected in ways we are only beginning to understand. Synchronicities are the universe's way of guiding you, showing you that your thoughts, intentions and actions are creating ripples in the fabric of reality. Pay attention to these signs. They are not mere coincidences. 
They are breadcrumbs on your spiritual path, helping you navigate the journey toward your awakening. Collective mission and global shift. Your personal awakening is not just for you. As a chosen one, you are part of a larger collective mission that contributes to the awakening of humanity as a whole. Hegel's philosophy of spirit speaks of the evolution of consciousness as a collective process, where each individual's growth contributes to the unfolding of the absolute spirit. This means that every step you take on your personal journey is also a step forward for the collective consciousness of the planet. In Buddhism, the Bodhisattva path represents beings who, even after reaching enlightenment, choose to remain in the world to help others awaken. In many ways, chosen ones are like modern-day bodhisattvas, beings with a deep spiritual mission to elevate the consciousness of the world. Your struggles, your insights, and your growth contribute to the global shift that is currently taking place. This collective mission is why your journey matters so much. It's not just about personal fulfillment, it's about helping to usher in a new era of consciousness, one where empathy, love and wisdom become the driving forces of our world. Every individual who awakens to their purpose plays a crucial role in this global shift. Spiritual tools and practices. As you walk this path of awakening, it's important to equip yourself with spiritual tools and practices that will support and strengthen your journey. The road of the Chosen Ones is filled with moments of introspection, challenge, and insight. And these practices help you align with your divine mission. They are not just methods of self-care, but gateways to higher consciousness and spiritual clarity. One of the most powerful tools available is meditation, the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, an ancient text that lays out the foundations of yoga emphasizes meditation as a vital practice for aligning the body, mind, and spirit. Meditation allows you to quiet the noise of the external world and tune in to your inner guidance. It helps you become aware of your thoughts and emotions without being controlled by them, giving you the clarity to act in alignment with your purpose. When you meditate regularly, you create space for divine insights and intuitive guidance to emerge, helping you navigate life's challenges with greater ease. In addition to meditation, journaling can be a transformative tool for self-reflection and growth. The Stoic philosopher Seneca used journaling as a daily practice, writing letters to Lucilius, where he reflected on his thoughts, actions, and the meaning he found in everyday life. For you, Journaling can be a way to document your spiritual journey, track your progress, and gain insights into your own patterns of thought and behavior. By putting your thoughts on paper, you externalize your inner world, allowing you to see things more clearly and make decisions that align with your higher self. Other practices such as yoga, breathwork, and grounding techniques can also play a crucial role in your spiritual evolution. Yoga, for example, helps balance both your masculine, active, and feminine, receptive energies, as we discussed earlier. It connects the physical body to the spiritual body, making it easier to channel divine energy and maintain equilibrium in your daily life. Breathwork, on the other hand, is a powerful tool for controlling your energy and emotions. Through conscious breathing, you can regulate your nervous system, clear emotional blockages, and maintain a state of calm even in stressful situations. Grounding or reconnecting with the earth is another important practice. By walking barefoot on grass or sand, or simply spending time in nature, you realign your energy with the natural rhythms of the earth. This helps you stay centered, balanced, and more in tune with the flow of life. Grounding is especially important for those with heightened intuition and sensitivity. 
as it prevents you from becoming overwhelmed by external energies. These spiritual tools are here to help you navigate the ups and downs of your journey. The Chosen Ones are often tasked with difficult challenges, but with these practices in place, you will find the strength, clarity, and resilience to stay the course. Your spiritual mission requires that you be in alignment with your higher self, and these tools are your guideposts along the way. You have come a long way on this journey of self-discovery, and now you know you are not like everyone else. You have been chosen for something greater. The challenges you faced, the intuition you followed, and the resilience you've built have all led you to this moment. Your mission is not just personal, it's part of a much larger plan, a divine purpose that is unfolding for the benefit of humanity as a whole. As you step into this role, remember that you are not alone. You are part of a collective of chosen ones, individuals all over the world who are awakening to their higher purpose. Rabbi Tarfan once said, you are not obligated to complete the work, but neither are you free to desist from it. This is the essence of your mission. You may not see the full impact of your actions in this lifetime, but every step you take, every piece of wisdom you embody, contributes to the collective awakening of the world. Your work is not just for yourself, it's for the greater good. Now is the time to take action. Reflect on the lessons you've learned and apply them in your daily life. Continue developing your intuition, cultivating resilience, and using the spiritual tools that will help you stay aligned with your mission. There will be moments of doubt, but these moments are simply tests of your faith and determination. Keep going and trust that the universe is supporting you every step of the way. As you move forward on this path, I encourage you to join a community of like-minded souls. Connect with other chosen ones who are also walking this journey. Together, you can share insights, offer support, and grow stronger in your collective mission. By surrounding yourself with those who understand your experience, you will find the encouragement and wisdom needed to keep going. If this message resonates with you, consider joining my channel as a member. Here, you will gain access to exclusive content, deeper insights, and practical tools to help you fulfill your divine mission. This is more than just a subscription. It's an invitation to be part of a community dedicated to spiritual growth and transformation. You are not alone on this journey, and by connecting with others who share your path, you can amplify your impact and continue awakening to your highest potential. The time is now. Step fully into your role as a chosen one and embrace the divine mission that has been waiting for you. The universe is calling and your destiny is within reach.